Okay, so I got um, some batteries. I, I had these top pilots for a while, the uh, tattoo top pilots, um, and then I recently got this uh, R line fifteen fifty. So I wanted to compare these three, um, and as well as the Infinity fifteen hundred that uh, Joshua Bardwell uh, raved about. And I think he only had the one sample, so I ordered a few. So I will be testing one. Um, the top pilot uh, I've had. Um, and when it was given to me secondhand after it had been used and abused. Um, so it's a little bit older and probably won't be, uh, you know, just keep in mind it's not as fresh as brand new batteries. So the Infinity is supposed to be graphene um, and the R line is supposed to be the uh, consumer version of the Top Pilot and it's 95C. Uh, and the Infinity and the R line are. 1500 or 1550 and the top pilot is 1300 so that might have uh, an effect but the, that's the only sizes uh, these are the only sizes I have in these batteries so it's, it's gonna have to do for the test I'll be doing the same uh, acceleration and top speed tests that I as I did with the uh, AOK flying motors and uh, so let's take a look at the weights and the uh, internal resistances of these batteries okay first up is the Top pilot, it's 165.6 grams for the 1300, um, and that's, f I mean, it's fairly average. Um, and the internal resistance on the top pilots are, you can see right there, uh, and that's not bad for considering how how much I've used these. I've been racing with them um, all summer, so okay. And then the uh, R line. Remember this is 1550 and it's 194 grams. That's kind of heavy even for 1550, uh, but keep in mind it's 95C. So the higher C rating batteries typically do weigh a bit more, uh, a bit more dense. So the internal resistance, the IR for the R line is pretty impressive uh, in the, look at those numbers, they're, they're pretty low. Um, and even the top piles were, were pretty good, but uh, the R line. Okay, so the weight of the Infinity 1500 is 168.1 grams, and that's that's pretty impressive. Um, but you know, is it truly 70 C, and is it really graphene? Who knows? Um, the IR numbers for those are decent, um, and considering they're new, I mean that's that's not bad. I mean I've I measured IR for new batteries, and they fall into roughly the same ballpark. So. Okay, so let's see how they did in testing.
Okay, so the results. Um, the top pilot, obviously being an older battery uh, in terms of its use, um, I've used it quite a few times and uh, it was, I'd have to say it was partially damaged when I got it. Uh, I know that it had been brought down to I think less than three volts per cell, um, but it still performed pretty well, well enough for me to use in races uh, this past season. Um, but as the numbers show, I think, uh, you know, being an older battery, um, it uh, it's not going to perform as well as two brand new batteries. Um, and the two new batteries, the R-Line and the Graf Infinity Graphene, perform pretty remarkab remarkably uh, similar, very close. In fact, uh, the numbers are so close that it's, you know, uh, the acceleration eight one thousandths of a second off and then the speed uh, a couple tenths, if if that much. Um, so I'd have to say they perform fairly similar. Uh, you know, who, who knows what's gonna be after uh, two months from now? Um, that'll be the true test. But considering the weight, the infinity might be the way to go for now. Um, so time will tell.